Have you ever had a moment in a video game where something outrageous happens and you end up pausing the game, putting down your controller, and just stare at the screen with disbelief? Well, I had many of those occasions take place when I played through the game, thank goodness you're here. A game with simple gameplay, a story full of absurd characters, and comedy that is very bold and brash. Because of the simplicity of the mechanics of the game, combined with the amazing Yorkshire-based humor, Thank goodness you're here is a great 2-3 to three hour experience. So what do I mean when I say that the gameplay mechanics of the game are simple? Well in the game, you play as a traveling salesman going around in a town named Barnsworth, and you basically are able to advance the game by just walking around and punching people around the environment. That's right, just going around and punching people or objects is exactly how you make progress in the world of Barnsworth. That is why I call the mechanics simple and I believe the simplicity of the gameplay blends in perfectly with the humor of the game. You can also kind of just create your own comedic moments by just punching at whatever time you believe fits perfectly. Now, speaking of the humor, like I said earlier, the things that take place can be considered quite crude, and I mean, what else can you expect if the game is taking place in a fictional English town called Barnsworth? There are so many moments in the game where I just sat there in disbelief of the many innuendos that were placed in the game. Just to name the two most outrageous moments in my opinion were the times that included a cow and a fish market man. The time with the cow was very strange and quickly started to feel like a fever dream. It first begins when you are just on a quest to help a little boy receive some milk for his tea. So you decide to head over to the farm to fetch the milk but well, very quickly, your milk fetching quest starts to become very uneasy. And without a moment's notice, you are milking the cow in a very strange scene. And in the next moment, gallons of milk are just pouring directly into the kid's face. And you can't tell if he's happy or needs help. And the interaction between the boy and the policeman is very strange. Now writing this doesn't seem to make this scene sound as brash as I am making it out to be. But trust me, that if you see the scene, you would understand. So when you decide to help him the third time, you are going around, doing business, punching fishes right in the face, until you punch an odd-looking fish that seems off. And right when you punch that quote-unquote fish, the market man's face and expression tells you everything you need to know. And I could not speak or close my jaw for at least a good to three minutes. The other moment with the fisherman is less of a scene and rather is more of something that takes place just randomly. And this moment took me off guard really quick since everything seemed to be as normal as usual until you decided to punch one particular fish. Now when punching fishes for the fish market man, your goal is to help him set up the store. And I believe there were two times you helped him before this instance. Now to quickly touch on the characters, there are many memorable and strange people you meet around Barnsworth. It will be tough to go over all of the people you meet across the town, but some characters I would like to mention are the gardener, the store clerk with the big head, Big Ron from Big Ron's Pies, the old Scottish man, and Colin and Florence. The people who voiced these characters did a great job, and sometimes you can't help yourself but try to mimic the lines that these characters have. Barnsworth is made of characters who just make the game very unpredictable, and that unpredictability draws you into punching everyone until you hear every line that they have. Thank goodness you're here is a short game, but a game that is full of amazing comedic experience. If you are looking for a laugh, then I would highly recommend the game, because of the simplicity, humor, and characters of the game, I believe are combined into delivering a wonderful experience.